We got the Ford IDS scan tool. We're gonna do a fuel system test, an injector flow test. And that will compare one injector to the next to the next and see if anything, if there's a large variance between any. Uses a fuel rail pressure sensor so it knows the pressure and the rail. And it will pulse each injector one by one and see how many milliseconds it takes for a certain pressure drop. <clears throat> it has to uh, make sure the fuel pump is capable of holding pressure before it can do the test. Because if it can't, it'll kick you out and won't even let you do the test because that's critical for watching the bleed down. <clears throat> it'll run the pump prime the system turn the pump off and then watch the fuel rail pressure sensor PID and then right here is pressure drop PD it'll count that clock down to one minute here's your pressure down here it will tell you how much pressure drop you saw after a one minute countdown which we're almost there once it gets to the one minute you see the 2.146 pounds of drop and it accepted that as normal Go on to the next step here. This tells you each injector is going to give a little bit of fuel on each cylinder, so you got to be careful not to do this several times in a row because it'll cause it to be flooded and it will start hard after this is done, but it's not that big of a deal. Now you got to do is sit back and watch. It'll go through this part on its own. It'll go through the firing order, each injector one at a time. Run the pump to get the pressure up. Turn the pump off. Pulse the injector. You saw that first one's 102 milliseconds. Then after the fact, you'll see it here in the scale. It'll be between here if it's considered good. It'll be down here if it's red. And this just compares one to the next to the next. So if they're all equally restricted, this isn't going to do you a whole lot of good because it doesn't really tell you if that millisecond, like what you should really see, because that millisecond time will vary from engine to engine. Alright, just got done with the last one. You'll see the scale will come up here. And if there's one that was really low or really high, of course you'd see it in the red and it would be outside of that arrow range. Then if you had one that was bad, of course, then you would know which cylinder to go to. Didn't see any videos of this out there. I thought it'd be cool for a lot of people to see. So there you go.